I am doing a peek at your person love tarot reading, all right? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, if this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross-watch, but don't force anything to fit, okay? It is a general reading. And also, Aquarius, stick around till the end. I have a fun, exciting announcement to make, all right? Um, so... Aquarius, I was meditating on your energy and I was seeing the, actually the card in here, the new life, like all lit up, like you're feeling on top of the world. I feel like you've just come out of a really hard time or a place where people didn't like believe in you or your person like put you down all the time or didn't believe in you or, um... And I feel like now you're having some kind of a glow up, all right? I was hearing that song by Imagine Dragons, Thunder. Um, so look up the lyrics to that if you're not familiar, Imagine Dragons, Thunder. I feel like it's like, you know, what was it? Like you're on stage and they're in the nosebleeds. You know what I mean? Like you're like in the spotlight and they're watching <laughs> from a distance. All right, so... Um, that's what I was getting. Anyway, let's get into your reading here. Uh, I have the fates. So something here, this is like your energy, Aquarius, the star. Having hope and faith or something that's happening right now is fated. It is destined to happen. I feel like you're just, you're, glow, you're glowing up. You're feeling like confident again. You're feeling good about yourself. You're putting the past behind you of what people said or people bringing you down. We also have soulmates. So the fates and soulmates. So you could be leaving a situation behind and moving towards something new, something that's lifting you up, making you feel good about yourself, like finally getting on track here. Um, this could be in, in life in general. It doesn't necessarily have to be love. It is a love reading, but um, maybe you just met a soulmate and feel on top of the world. All right, your person's overall energy. <laughs> Unfinished symphony. I feel like your person wants another start or a new beginning. Uh, there is an egg in that picture, but I feel like something did come to an end and now they're wanting a new beginning with you. But what else? Overall energy, loyal heart. So there could have been a lot of loyalty here or your person feels like, you know, their heart is meant for you. Um, this could be a welcomed reconciliation. This could be someone from the past past or uh, I don't know. We'll have to get into it and see what comes out. Um, then we have co-create and go the distance here. Um, time to go. So yeah, I feel like you, Aquarius, felt like you had to walk away from someone or something to kind of realign yourself and and reflect and figure out what it is you really wanted here um but let's see current energies for aquarius's person current energies please and also keep in mind aquarius when i say your person's energies it could be yours so it could be flip-flopped and reversed all right it is a general reading all right Current energies for Aquarius's person, the High Priestess, Scorpio, Pisces, energy, keeper of secrets, very intuitive, she who knows, he who knows, um, very intuitive, but also could be like moving in silence or keeping secrets of some sort, something going on there. Well, then we have Libra energy which could also be you, all right? It, it is Libra predominant, Aquarius, Gemini, Ace of Pentacles. You could be dealing with another air sign or this this is your person cutting off, cutting out things that no longer serve them. Um, they could have been very blunt or harsh with their words. Um, it could have been a little bit of manipulation or projecting, you know, like... They did something wrong, but they were, like, blaming it on you, pointing the finger at you. Um, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like they're really looking for some kind of stable new beginning here. What else? Current energies. Current energies. For some of you, you could have felt like this person was trying to take advantage of you financially. All right. Uh, maybe you provided. I just saw... Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, something with finances or stability was going on here. 
Knight of Swords, Gemini energy, and Two of Pentacles. Your person could have been like rushing in, rushing out, wishy-washy energy, uh, actions not matching their words, juggling, you know, love bombing, in and out energy. It's like when they needed something, they would rush towards you. And I feel like you would give it to them. Like you would, you would give in to this person. But they, it wasn't reciprocated. It wasn't equal. It wasn't give and take. I feel like there was some chaos, confusion. Eight of Pentacles. You could have worked together or met this person at work, or now, like, this person, since they, like, lost you and they see you having a glow up or feeling good about yourself, a confidence, self-esteem boost going on with you, like, you're glowing. It's like, well, now I want to put in the work and effort. They might come charging towards you. But I feel like it's more because of what they can get out of it. I don't feel it's like a genuine, I could be wrong, they do have loyal heart. But I feel like there was something about like finances or money, like being taken advantage of. Look at that, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, this card does represent equal give and take, reciprocity. It also could be giving to two. It could be a balance. It could be an imbalance. Um, I feel like this person is like saying, like, I'm going to rush towards you. I'm going to put the work and effort in on this. I want things to be balanced between the two of us. I want it to be equal give and take. Um, for some of you, you could have children together or there's children involved. It doesn't have to be, but... You could have a child with this person and they're trying to take you for child support or something like that. And it's like, I feel like it's unfair. There's something here that's off. <laughs> All right, let's see what's blocking this connection, blocking this connection. blocking this connection what's blocking this we have king of wands I'll take them. king of wands leo aries sag five of swords three of cups and page of swords could be an age difference between the two of you doesn't have to be i feel like There could have possibly been a third party situation that happened here. Um, it could have been a fire sign that got in between. Doesn't have to be. It could just be someone who's single, attractive, fun, flirty, outgoing. Um, so Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. There was a lot of like conflict, arguments, disputes. I'm feeling like there was a third party or it could even just be like friends were involved or too many people were involved in this. I feel like you found something out, Aquarius. Like some kind of knowledge came in, a text message, or someone told you something, like couldn't stand seeing it happen anymore. Like a, a close friend was like, look, man, this is what I heard or saw or, you know. I feel like there's something like that that has happened. Some kind of knowledge came to light, some kind of truth. I feel like you weren't giving it much attention. You weren't paying much attention to it. And then it like, like subconsciously, maybe you knew something was going on, but then it was like, you saw a text message, someone messaged you, there, there was something that came in. All right, let's see. I feel like your person has a tendency to act immature as well. Uh, King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and Ten of Cups. So your complete happiness was being blocked here. Going all the way, the ultimate, you know, wish fulfillment, the ultimate emotional fulfillment, that complete happiness. Um, we have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Uh, 
Um, there could have been, again, secrets. There could have been jealousy, um, emotional outbursts, possessiveness, the negative sides to scorpionic energy or an unevolved Scorpio um, would be that, like jealousy, possessive, insecure, um, a little bit of manipulation or, or things like that. Um, I feel like something like that was kind of going on. So could have been a fire sign, a water sign that got in between this connection. Where at one point you thought this was faded, you thought it was destined, you, you maybe still feel like this person is your soulmate. But I do see like third party stuff going on. And third party, you guys, it could be a person, place, thing, friend, coworker, family member. Doesn't have to be like a sexual person. Most of the time it is, but it could be anybody that's sticking their nose where it doesn't belong or sticking a body part where it doesn't belong, you know? All right, let's see. How does this person truly feel about you, Aquarius? How do they feel about you? They want to talk. Eight of Wands. They want to talk. What else? What else do they feel about Aquarius? Keep in mind, this is like their perception or their feelings. It doesn't necessarily mean the truth, but it's their truth. They could see you possibly waiting to communicate or they're waiting for you to open the, the doors for communication or the channels. You may have blocked them or cut them off. Damn it. <sighs> They want a transformation. I feel like they, Scorpionic energy, Pisces energy. I feel like they want to either talk or send you a message offering some kind of an apology because they want this to change. Give me one second. They want this to change or transform here. That Knight of Cups is like a knight in shining armor type stuff, a romantic offer, a gesture, or it's even an apology. They want a new beginning here. They want a transformation in this connection. Let's see, what else? What else? How else do they feel towards you? Aquarius, the lovers, Gemini, they feel like they hear their soulmate. There is a strong soul bond here. You have soulmates. This is soulmate. This is also a choice in love. So they may feel like either if they had a choice to make in love, like they want to choose you. If you have a choice to make in love, it's like choose me. That kind of a thing. Um... Seven of Pentacles, the Fool, Aries energy, the Sun, Leo energy. I feel like this person sees you or feels like you're, you're trying to manifest or you're planting seeds for yourself and you're waiting for the right time to take some kind of leap of faith towards your happiness. Again, like I said, like I feel like you're glowing up or they're watching you and you're like having fun, doing your own thing, like not dwelling on this. And I feel like they're watching you and seeing you do that. And they're seeing you kind of like taking risks, doing things different. Like when you were together, things that they never thought you would do, like you're going out there and you're doing it. And you're, like, they see you as happy. They see you as happy, but also you make this person happy too. For some of you, this is a side note. For some of you, this isn't going to resonate with everyone. For some of you, um, there's something to do with children or pregnancy 
that's either keeping you stuck, them stuck, or there's some kind of stuck energy around children or a pregnancy. Like, if you have children with this person, again, I said, like, finances, something. Like, I feel like they're trying to use children to keep you stuck or trying to get pregnant or get you pregnant to keep you stuck. Like, they don't want to lose you. This is unfinished to them. So I caution you, some of you, yeah, it's like a tactic for some of you. And I said, some for some of you, this person does have, like, immature ways or Im immature, like, thoughts about them. Huh. All right, let's see. Potential outcome. Potential outcome. Keep in mind, you have free will. They have free will. You can change your mind. So can they. This is just a snapshot of what it could be. And also, I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just reading the energy. So use your own discernment. All right. All right. Potential outcome for Aquarius. What do we got? The Empress. Again, Taurus energy and the Wheel of Fortune. We also had uh, the lovers again. For some of you, you could have been married to this person. What else? Potential outcome. Potential outcome. I feel like if there is a pregnancy, whoever it is, that person's moving forward with it. There's a lot of drama wrapped around it. Someone's rejecting this. Um, even if there's no pregnancy, this empress here that's trying to move forward, there's complications. There's like roadblocks, drama, too many people involved, rejection. For some of you, I feel like I want to relate to you as this empress here for a second. It's like you're trying to just move forward with your life and like love, care, nurture for yourself. And this person just keeps throwing fuel to the fire, trying to stop you, trying to stop you, to keep you stuck. There could be like heated, passionate arguments, disputes, projections, blaming, pointing the finger, things like that. I feel like you're turning, look at, there's that sun again. I feel like you're turning your back on this. What else? Potential outcome for Aquarius. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Wow, Aquarius. You are, you're rejecting this person. It was too much drama, too much confusion, too many people involved. It was like that wheel was just spinning and spinning, stuck in the mud, not gaining any traction. It was like round and round. I'm hearing that song. Round and round. <laughs> Comes around, goes around like karma. There was false starts, empty promises, broken promises. And now you're closing that cycle out, Aquarius. You're ending that chapter. For some of you, you could be moving or traveling. We got Virgo energy with the Hermit. You're blocking contact with them. They want to talk, but you don't. You're you're rejecting this. You're ending this cycle. You're focusing on you. You're creating your own stability. You're becoming this King of Pentacles energy. You're getting yourself grounded, methodical, loyal, 
thinking long term, planning for the future, uh, rebuilding your bank account, really putting in work and effort into your own stability and your own life. And moving slow, practical, grounded, methodical, all right? Um, very strong but slow energy, determined but slow energy here um, to create your Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like you're leaving this situation behind and you're really going towards what you feel is meant for you and possibly a soulmate that's coming uh, your way. The soulmate could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, like you're you're just kind of doing your own thing. You're making the decision to walk away from this. Some of you may not be. Some of you may still give it another go. Let's see. What's coming towards Aquarius in the near future? Victory and success, page of wands. You're going to start. Look at that's that getting noticed, getting attention, being in the spotlight, being on a pedestal, on a high horse, not saying that in a negative way, like you're you're going to be getting attention. I feel like ideas are going to start flowing to you. You could meet somebody that like helps you or uplifts you or brings back that drive back in you, um, that passion. What else? Who is this person coming towards Aquarius? Could be someone from uh, childhood or someone you've known for a while or were friends with. Could be turning into a relationship. Could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I feel like you're a little bit conflicted though. Like, should I? Shouldn't I? It's inner conflict. Like, do I keep giving to this or do I move on to this new person that could be a water sign. And I know that came up in a blockage here. What else? What else coming towards? Whoever it is, it's your divine counterpart. This is your soulmate, your divine counterpart. You guys are like facing each other, ready to offer each other your, your cup of love. Uh, and there's victory and success here. It doesn't have to be a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but it could be any sign. This is that sharing of love, that, you know, mutual exchange. This is also like a higher level of commitment. This is like marriage material here. Emotional fulfillment, victory and success. You have that coming towards you. After you release this, you're you're done with this situation and you're looking towards new. And I feel like that's why you feel good about yourself. This person here makes you feel good about yourself. And if you haven't met them yet, because everyone's on different timelines and you're still going through that, if you release this, this is what's coming in. But you got to be open to receiving it. You got to be, you got to take action steps, you know, I mean, if it is meant for you, it won't pass you by, but wow, look, ace of cups to the 10 of cups, this is going to be emotionally satisfying for you from after this, meeting this new person, or a person that you may have known, um, possibly from like the past past or childhood or an old friend or something that it could be brand new, someone you never met, but it's going to go all the way from start to finish. Emotionally satisfied from start to finish. This person was blocking that from your life. All right, what obstacles is Aquarius going to have to overcome? Obstacles, obstacles for Aquarius. Obstacles. Obstacles. Trust trust and ripeness it may not be completely ready yet or this is you've been planting your seeds and it's starting to blossom and grow and it's ripening for you you need to trust the universe that there is something a soulmate something faded something destined that is coming your way Trust in your own intuition, trust in messages, signs, things like that that are coming your way, and overcome this burden. Put this burden down. That's all this 
situation was. I feel like it was a karmic lesson and a burden, all right? Um, so trust in your decisions, trust in your feelings, your intuition, signs, synchronicities, things this person says versus that person says, whatever, you know? Trust in that. All right, let's see what other messages... What else we got for Aquarius? We'll get into that right after this quick. Thank you so much for sticking with me until this point in your reading. It is not over. I just wanted to make a real quick announcement. I am doing a 10K subscriber giveaway. A bunch of goodies are going to be given out, and I am so excited. I can't wait. Uh, one of them is an iPad Air and also crystals tarot decks, oracle decks, all that fun stuff. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button to help me circulate these videos. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. And let's get back into Aquarius, it. What else? What else do we have? Clarification or messages, advice, lessons. There's a lesson here. Knowledge, understanding, look for the lesson in this situation. Self-worth, value, self-esteem, confidence. You're blowing up here with that. Uh, ego, pride, jealousy, self-preservation, walls. I told you that's what this person's issue was. Like they, they had some kind of jealousy or ego or something. And like now you're blowing up and like they're come running back. Rise above, drama, obstacles, pettiness, find the strength to rise, and memories, nostalgia, repetition, repetition, attachment, reliving the past, let it go. Let it go. Nothing could have changed. Like, everything happens for a reason. Like, let it go. Stop replaying things over in your head or stop letting this person project or, or make you think a certain way, you know? Um, all right, what else? What other messages do we have for Aquarius? Clock. Need time takes time, time and cycles, time to heal progress. So if you feel like, you know, you've been stuck in a karmic cycle or things are taking so long or you've been waiting and things aren't changing, divine timing is at play here. And maybe there's still something you need to release or need to learn or have that epiphany aha moment for the lesson. All right. What else? Twin flames, yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complementing each other. That's your person here. Divine counterparts, yin yang. Love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. And then not today, not dealing hurt, avoiding conversation, call person boundaries, still angry. Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. And some of you could have been dealing with addiction or a codependent relationship and... That's what I was saying at the beginning. This person was like leaning on you for something. Codependency. And now like not today. You're done. They broke your heart. You have someone new that you're talking to with this love call. Mm -mm. You're good. You're good. All right. Aquarius, that is what I have for you. 